Why, thank you, Scotty, for your generosity. However, I don't do this for the money. I do this because I genuinely want to help people. I want to continue to lead by example and show people that keto can work and that it's sustainable. Now, I was watching one of your cooking videos and you were using keto bread. And I was literally halfway to pressing the follow button until you said keto sucks. And I literally stopped halfway because it came out of left field and it was completely out of context. And I said, what a hypocrite. He's using keto bread, but he's saying keto sucks. How do you think that keto bread got on the market? Because keto became very popular. And these companies decide to profit off of us by making all types of keto products. There's keto bread, keto cakes, keto crackers, you name it. There's keto everything. So now everybody could enjoy low-calorie keto bread, including yourself. And I'm sure you'd think it's funny to just say keto sucks. But all it's doing is really just pointing out your insecurities. Whatever they may be, I don't know. You ever heard the expression, never pick a fight with someone who has nothing to lose? Well, I have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. You see, I don't make my living off of TikTok. You, on the other hand, are a full-time content creator, which I find very commendable. However, with the audience of your size, I think you should do your due diligence and be accepting of everyone, no matter what diet they choose to follow, no matter what food they choose to eat, as long as they're finding what works for them. Now, I'm not here to say that keto works for everybody. However, there is no benefit by you drawing a line in the sand and separating people based on what they eat. I'm a firm believer that we could all learn from each other. We can all bring something to the table. There's definitely more than one way to get in a caloric deficit. All I'm saying, there's no need to throw in all that negativity. And on that note, I really do wish you the very best.